Good morning to you. Today is a new day. I had a very rough day yesterday, but I feel that today is going to be a better day. I just came home from work and uh, I still had a little bit of a rough day, but it was much better than yesterday. So that's a plus. Yesterday I had a lot of symptoms and I believe it might have been uh, caused by the, the weather because we had some weather change. Before I got diagnosed, I never felt the weather change at all. I don't know if that it has something to do with the pressure changing within my head or something like that, but I really felt a lot of symptoms. And um, if you look over here are some common symptoms of idiopathic intracranial hypertension. And uh, yesterday and a bit of today, I felt very nauseated, like I was about to throw up. I felt dizzy. I had a terrible headache, which was worse yesterday. And I felt an immense fatigue, which was also worse yesterday. So today is a better day, but I still had symptoms. And you know, this fatigue that I have felt is just so, so real. If you don't have a neurological disease, you might not really understand how it feels, but it is an immense feeling of tiredness that is just coming towards you like this. And it happens so fast. It's like unbelievable fast that it can come. The brain fog is real too. And also something that may have contributed to my bad symptoms yesterday might have been because two days ago I did a major surgery on a five-year-old girl. It was nothing um, acute or serious. She wasn't dying or anything like that. It was a planned surgery. But anyway, I'm not going to go into the details about the surgery itself because that's irrelevant. But it was scheduled to take around two or three hours. But when I went off my shift at 3 p.m., we were not finished. And in the end, it took like uh, maybe six hours. It was super intense, but really, really fun too. But I got so tired after that and I was so sweaty. I'm actually going to include a picture of me just so you can see how sweaty I was. This is how sweaty I was. And you know, after that, I started to feel some symptoms. This is the way my life is now. And can I do something about it? Of course I can treat my symptoms, but um, I cannot change my disease. I cannot get rid of it. But I also want to reflect on something that happened uh, maybe one or two weeks ago. I actually missed my latest appointment with my eye doctors. And uh, it wasn't something that I did with purpose, but I feel super bad about it because my appointments to my doctors are so so important for me it's really really important for me to to catch up if something changes within my head or especially my optic nerves the reason i missed it was simply because my hospital now send out the information that i have an up upcoming appointment through internet not through regular email but through an um, internet service that is quite common here in Sweden that you know hospitals and uh, go the government can use it to send mails and stuff like that and somehow I didn't get a notification on my cell phone or I just completely missed to read it I can't blame them but I feel super bad about that and this is the first time that that has ever happened to me and if you don't know me, my name is Paul. I have a very rare disease that is called idiopathic intracranial hypertension. And I vlog about my disease. So uh, check out my earlier videos about my disease if you want to. I try to post weekly. And uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and uh, maybe subscribe or leave a comment. It really helps me with spreading knowledge about my disease to others. And I really, really appreciate it. I truly do. So uh, hit the like button and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.